What's up guys? I figured I might do a short little video about uh, one of my rattlesnake setups. So this setup holds a pair of my Western Diamondbacks, my Patternless, and my Bubblegum, who's somewhere. But as you guys know, online people like to troll a lot. And so they like to make judgments off of just a single picture. So usually when I take pictures of these guys, I just show them like this. They assume that this is the entire cage. But really, those little PVC pipes back there, those weave in and out of these tubs down here. So they could actually go in and out through all of these. So they could choose whatever temperature they want. Right here I have the warm side, I have an entire heat panel up there. So this entire side right here is heated to 90 degrees. And then of course, it gets cooler and cooler as you go down to this side where there's nothing at all. Uh, this cage is pretty old. It was given to me by my buddy Dan Grubb, who if you don't know, he's one of the OGs of rattlesnakes. Or specifically, Crotalus Aatrox. And he designed this specifically for them. I don't know if he designed it because I know Bob Applegate also uses these. But it's not just for rattlesnakes. You can use them for pretty much any colubrid. And they'll all figure out how to use these pipes to get to the water. Like my water's over here on the cool side. But yeah. This is how it is. And then during the winter when I decide to brumate them, I just turn everything off. They stay in there, I cover it up. Let's see where my bubble gum is. Yeah, there he is right there. Sorry, it's pretty dark in there. But yeah, I find them everywhere. Like it may take them a, a day or two to figure it out, but they get it down. Sorry for the short clip, guys. But maybe if you guys throw some comments what you want to see, I'll be more active on YouTube. Thanks.